I think he's working. Woo! Sweet parade. Hi, it's Sama. I'm Dominic, and welcome back to Philly Swiss. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this colorful wig, and that's because I'm sharing with you today what it's like to be at the Zurich Street Parade. This just took place on Saturday, on the 10th of August, and it is actually a demonstration of love, peace, freedom, generosity, and tolerance. It's quite a mouthful. It's one of the most attended techno parades in the world. It is held in Zurich, Switzerland, and basically you'll see love mobiles following the lake of Zurich. And these love mobiles have like music blasting off of their speakers. You have dancers on board, dancers on the ground, and they're fully decorated according to their chosen theme. The streets, just like in the city flesh, are closed. The city is packed in that area. You have people coming locally from the other cantons, and then you have other people from around the world visiting. You will see this later on in the video. And because it's such a big event, it's really reassuring to know that there is safety, security, and information points located in designated areas. Now for us locals, it's much easier to know where they are because they're going to be in the same place every year. But for tourists, like if you're going to come and visit just because of the street parade or you it's only like a detour until you move on to your next stop then uh, you want to find that out and you there's information online or you can ask around you'll see a lot of people who you'll be able to ask hey where's the nearest public toilet or whatever because you never know if you're gonna need it when you're gonna need it doesn't matter it's best to know it you'll have information on the internet street parade has their own website and you can always ask around on the day itself um depending on what time probably you're gonna be there so this is actually my second time at the street parade the first time was of course when i was in uni so i went with my friends and I guess you could say I was the raver at that time because now when I went this time, I went with hubby and we were more the observers. So raver, observer, it's quite a different experience, different perspective. So actually I appreciated the street parade more this time because I actually got to see what the street parade looks like. I got to see people with their costumes, their enthusiasm, their energy. The whole event was colorful. We had like stage over here, stage over there, love mobile over here. And I'm just like, oh my god, where am I gonna go first? And of course, I go from one point to another, A to B, right? And you just have to know how A to B looks like. And um, you also have to know at what time of the day you're going to be there because um, the love mobiles are going to move and depending on the stages you have to know where to position yourself if you like a certain type of music because sometimes they do play different types of music and of course not one is for everyone so you have to find that out as well maybe you can check the program already then you can already go to that place because it is quite packed and it does already start to pack since like when we got there at even 2 p.m. There was already a lot of people there and even just walking through the road from the Opera House to Bellevue was already tight. So we had to go around and um, basically find our way through the street parade, uh, the bridge, and then go all the way from Birkliplatz to back to the city center. So, you know, you have to find your way around. So if you're a tourist, do try to come in a day earlier and then you get to see a bit of the city and where the Zurich uh, street parade is going to be. And then you know your route on how to get to your stage, basically. It was Marek Krinsky who founded the Zurich Street Parade in 1992 when he got inspired by the Berlin Love Parade. He actually went to Berlin to learn how to organize such a demonstration and obviously he learned a lot because it's such a big event that uh, when he cop sort of copy pasted it into Switzerland, um, he was able to succeed with having about a thousand paraders. Um, which at that time was actually quite a success because there were quite a few 
well, not even a few, quite uh, a number of people who doubted that people would be dancing out in the open in broad daylight. In 1994, the Zurich Street Parade was banned. Yes, you heard me correctly, banned. They said it is too big, too loud, it litters the streets of the city, and moreover, only of interest to an insignificant section of the population. Although I could say that in my first experience of the street parade, yes, at night, at midnight, the streets were definitely littered. And this time, we didn't stay anymore until midnight, so I can't say really how the streets look like after because cleaners do a really good job the next day that when you the streets are roughly mostly clean already. So you don't really get to see what happened the next day anymore. There were media and political parties who voiced out their nays and there were letters of protests and signed petitions addressed to editors of newspapers. So there was a significant political and public pressure. That's solidarity, isn't it? The police force finally caved in. And so in the 1994 uh, street parade, there were about 30,000 ravers and 10,000 onlookers. From then on, you had the recurring street parade that took place every year in the summer, and this year's motto is Colors of Unity. This year's ball saw around 850,000 ravers. So apart from the medical and informational needs, the street parade also has food stalls where you can grab yourself a spiesli, a bratwurst, and other snacks to fill up your belly. Now, I do have a few tips to give you if you are interested in going to the street parade in 2020. Number one, your outfit. Wear comfortable clothes, especially your shoes, because if you're going to be there the whole day, you're gonna need really durable shoes, or you're gonna have to make sure that they're the ones you don't care if something happens to them because it will be messy beer and you have to be very careful because there will be shards of glass there will be pieces of broken glasses or cans just there on the ground or people may even step on your toes and even i had to wear my palladium boots just to make sure that i don't get the worst of it so do pay very close attention to them Wear sunscreen because if you're going to be out in the sun in the peak of the summer, yes, you're gonna need it. Depending on how red or burned you want to be at the end of the day, you might want to have a more comfortable solution. Number two, bring a bottle of water. I don't know how many times you've heard this before from other people, but you need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You can drink all the beer you want or, or the hard liquor you want, but water is still key. Number three, bring a small bag. Now, this could be a pouch that you can conceal under your shirt, or it could hug your body if you prefer to have like a city bag, but make sure that it's something like that you can keep uh, securely fastened to yourself. I mean, you should always have any anyway, some spare cash on you because you never know when you're gonna need it, and the food stalls have a tendency not to let you pay by card, so you're gonna need cash ready on hand. Number four, there are night trains and buses, which are normally used for the Friday, Saturday nights of people going out to clubs and parties. So this one is also not so different for street parades since it does fall on a Saturday. Otherwise, I've seen people sleep outside. If you're more comfortable with that, I don't know. That's up to you. So I hope you found this video informational and if you are interested in going to the street parade in 2020, I do strongly suggest that you plan ahead because you will need to book your flight and your rooms accordingly because it is a peak time as well in Switzerland. 
So if you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video. Adios!